morning YouTube family. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm going to feed the animals right now early this morning and I tell you it is already hot. Uh, we have a heat advisory still in our state but the thing about it is it's supposed to get down to like 67, 69, 67 at night so I'm still having to put the lights on for the baby chicks and so yesterday Kyla and I swam we had a really good time. We swam for about 45 minutes, and I'm gonna show you the garden. And we really enjoyed ourselves. The water was warmer this time. And so I have three, three 10 pound bags, which is 30 pounds of all purpose flour on my bar that's been on my bar for two days, two or three days, I forgot. I've been so busy drying out. They were in the freezer since my last all and haul, my all, last all and flower haul. And so I took them out to dry so I can package them up. So that is totally on the agenda today. I just wanted to bypass the garden because I always check it. Everything is looking so good. Um, the only thing that's probably ready to pick is maybe a pepper, but I'm gonna wait. So moving right along <laughs> this is just what I do every morning and evening it's too hot to stay out here during the day it is really hot so I'm not gonna do much out here except for uh, check on the animals and um, I'll come out here and feed them and stand by them and pet them in the evenings and stuff like that so they're waiting on me we are we have pushed their feeding time back because before we got Louie, they were the um, River and Styler was only eating one time a day in the evenings. When they were younger, they would eat twice a day, but then we winged them off. But since we got Louie, we started giving them just a quarter. They're used to eating in the mornings, and they're hungry. So now they're used to eating in the mornings, and so I'm pushing their time back from 8:30. Um, 8 or 8.30 to now it is almost 10. I will continue to push back. Tomorrow it will be I think 10.30 or 11. I have to ask Leon to eventually they're only eating once a day. Okay because they don't need to eat. We were just trying to put a little a little fat on Louie because when we got him, he was tremendously skinny. Here, so they're anxious because they're hungry. So now that Louie is putting on weight and doing very well. He always pushes some of his stuff back. We were pushing the time back. Hey, Louie. And um, that way they can start eating once a day. One pound a day instead of a pound and a quarter. They have plenty of grass out there. We just want to welcome our new subscribers and we are the Radfields. We just have a small farm. We're preppers. We love the Lord with all of our heart and um, we love our animals and our family. We're just down home people that uh, are trying to enjoy life, are enjoying life um, under the circumstances that we're in with all of the things going on in the world, the inflation, uh, war, everything that we are having to watch, 
go on and how our country is totally being destroyed but um, we know that we have faith in our Lord and that he is going to see us through no matter what we have to go through and that is our the way we believe at the Raffles and the way yeah you agree don't you <laughs> So, um, but we welcome you and we are so thankful and so blessed that you have dropped in on our channel, have subscribed, and as always, you hear that bird up there? So pretty. As always, we love, um, the people who have been supporting us for a while. We love you all. We pray for you daily. And we thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. I love your messages. I read them all the time. And I love communicating with you guys. Hey, Dorlin. Hey. This is Stylo. The, uh, that's Bear. She acted like she was, see her put her butt to me. Watch this. You better not put your butt to me. All right, I had to put y'all on pause a minute. That's Bear. Bonnie's around here somewhere. Maya is our green wing McCall. She's in her room. I'm not putting her outside today because it's too, too hot. So, Tutu Boot is still sleeping. He is a night owl like his mama. So, he likes to stay up late at night. <laughs> we watch TV. I play my word game on my phone. I usually play with my sister. And sometimes she beats me, sometimes I beat her. <laughs> but the word wars is my favorite pastime after watching all of your videos and talking with you guys. And then, so let's go inside and see if Kyler has woken up. Go in, I wanted to show you that uh, the Black Beauty squash is doing well. And then this is the uh, green bell pepper. And this is what I have in the front. That's the big boy tomatoes. And then that's some more squash. So, or cucumbers, I'm sorry. This is cucumber. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's cucumbers. I forget. We have so much that I forget. So those are doing very well in the front. We have not replanted them. I think I will just let them grow right there. I am pouring sweat already, you guys. Oh, I cannot wait to get in. Oh. Thankful, very thankful for air conditioner. So thankful. So Kyler and I, Leon's gone, so we sleep in my bed instead of his. And there he is. You waking up? The pancakes were such a hit that we made another one today. Huh, Kyler? Thumbs up? So here... So here is mine, and I'm just going to add a little butter to it, and some powdered sugar. It's like a crepe, or whatever you call it, that you get at IHOP. That's what it tastes like to me. I cooked my chocolate inside there with my bananas, so. So Kyler and I have to run to the dollar store in a little while, so I need to do something with my swim hair, I guess. I've got to pick up a few things, and we're going to take you all along with us. Okay, we are all ready to go to the dollar store. He's putting on his shoes. He doesn't really like to leave the house, but I have got to go to the dollar store. I've got to pick up a few things, so that's where we're headed. Come on. Guys, we are at the dollar store, the Dollar General. It's not too far from the house. About 10 minutes, I guess. Four dollars and twenty-five cents for eight and a half ounces of Cheetos. That's a lot. Okay, so this is the juice aisle. I messed up on my recording. So let me turn around. So there's this is the canned goods, the soup.
This is the tuna fish. Hamburger helper. Pasta. He's helping me. <laughs> Alright, come on. Two fifty. Those little drinks right there are two fifty. And you got cups at home and I got Kool-Aid at home. And oh, look at this. Yeah, a dollar That's a lower price. Hmm. Yeah, but it's just drink one time and throw away. We're not getting that. Alright, this is the popsicles. And um I'm just showing you the emptiness of the shelves. All right, this is the pots and the pans. It's very empty here. Very, very empty. Um, here's the plastic. There's more plastic here in this area. Uh, here's the garbage bags. Oh, I don't know what those are. Maybe that's product. Here's the garbage bags and the Ziploc bags. I'm gonna sweep over here. Here's the paper product. Okay, maybe that's product. I'm not sure. Usually it's in boxes. Maybe it is product. Okay, they do have uh, paper towels. Okay, okay, here's product. And they look like they're putting out water. Thank the Lord. Uh, dog food is a little low. If you can see the empty shelves, I can't go down there. Because uh, Kyler is waiting on me right here. I'm wanting to go to the toy section. Come here. I want to go down this aisle. So here is um, just the calm goods. I do in just a minute. I want to look right here real quick. Okay, there's plenty of paper towels, and the toilet paper looks a little slim down there. But there's plenty. There's more dog food. That is the. All right. So oh, these are so neat. They're thin though. These look like those old fashioned glasses. Look how pretty this is. Alright, so. Oh, this is a lemon. A lemon sponge thing. Cute. Oh, and this is a, a orange. An orange one. Pretty cool. Okay. I actually like this butter dish. It's got the butter holder. I like this one better than the one I have. Six dollars. Hmm. I'm going to get this one for the table. I don't have to keep bringing the butter to the table. Okay. Clearly, Kyler does not like shopping at all. At all. He, he's like, Mama, how long is this going to take? Look at the pigs, Kyler. So cute. Oh, you don't like shopping until we go down your aisle, huh? Right? Is that what it is? <laughs> okay, moving right along. I didn't get a chance to really look, but I got a collar and I, a, a pizza for later. Something simple. I've been cooking every day. This is the aisle that he wanted to go down, <laughs> of course. It's not bad. It's a wood burning tool set you burn stuff in wood it's only twelve dollars that's pretty that's not bad for that and six dollars for the glue gun six fifty I'm sorry that's not bad either all right let's see what they have they look like they got plenty of toys found these weird things. oh what is that that does look weird it's a splash toy. looking at these online it's a 35 count Wooden train Mama. set. Kyle already has some of these. Uh, hold on. Kyle already has some of these uh, right here. This is a wooden train set. Let me show you what it. This is what it. I love it. I love, that. I love wooden stuff. <laughs> Let me see. I, I, a spider. No. Ugh, bee. For somebody that don't like bugs, you sure are picking weird toys. So here's 96 pages of construction paper for $3. Whoa, it's a grow craft. 
A grow crab? Yeah, that grows in the uh, water. Water, yeah. Okay. Water. Can we get that? Yeah. And snakes? Yeah. Creatures. Okay. Ryan had Oops. like a frog. A, uh, uh. All right, so here's a glow in the dark glow creature set. It's a science project. One bag of plaster, three glow paint. So, I don't know. Okay. Are still at a reasonable price. Uh, it says a dollar fifty here, a dollar there. I'm not sure, but a dollar fifty is not bad for 24 colors crayons, steel. You know. I am getting three packs of crayons to put up. It's the toilet paper here. Let me run down here real quick. Okay, so I just was looking at the empty shelves for the washing powder. It's, so here is this. Getting the no name brand Dawn. I usually get it when I see it. So, um, here is the toothpaste, you guys, very slim, here is the hair products, and this is the last aisle, it is the medication, Shh, don't make that noise, Kyla, the medication, and it is not looking good at all I'm not looking good at all oh wow look at this oh, I'm gonna bring you up here and then I'm gonna go down This is scary. Alright, so I'm gonna go up. There's your medication at this dollar store. And I'm gonna go down. Very slim. It's like that all the way around. I'm gonna swoop you around. This is your feminine products. Okay, all of your feminine products. This is your deodorant. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, here's the other side of the medication. All under alarm. Here is your Tylenol. Okay, this is your Tylenol. It's empty. There's very few. It's the makeup. Okay. Hey guys, we're about to check out. Um, I did go ahead and get this for next month. And um, we just got a few things. So, um, okay, we have made it home. Yay, it is so hot, you guys. It took forever for the car to cool off. So, we are home. So, as you can tell, that dollar store is uh, very slim pickings. Um, just about every shelf was, there was large gaps. I'm talking not normal gaps at all. Nothing's normal these days, but what do you do? So hold on just one second. But yes, we have several dollar stores around. Hold on. Sorry. Um, several dollar stores. We have one, uh, 10 minutes away, one 15 minutes away, one 25 minutes away. And so um, they all are following the same pattern. There were plastic buckets in the aisles. Usually there's boxes. I don't know what the plastic uh, container buckets are. Maybe that's what it holds the extra product. But um, today is Saturday, and I guess it's the day for them to stock the shelves. I'm not sure. I'm just saying there was an awful lot missing. And, of course, you know the prices are going up. But we did find a few things. I didn't really go do a prepping haul. I just picked up a few things. And I love wooden toys, wooden train sets. So I did get that. And then Kyler, a few little dollar things. And so um, he's in there playing right now. And I will put a clip in of that. Hey guys, welcome back to another movie. But it's like a short movie. It's called Get the Snacks Attack. Attack. Episode one. This is toxic waste. These are wild snakes. 
and these wild snakes are very the they're they're very they're very dangerous. So if you come in this you will get I mean it's toxic waste. Oh it's toxic waste, so what do you do with it? Yeah. It's, it's, so what do you do with it? We're pretending this knife is toxic. Do you, are you supposed to take it out of there? These snakes were from a master that is very bad who wanted to take over the city. Red, dark, titan. Oh, goodness. Sounds serious. So what do you do with the slime? Do you pour it out? New city. And then take over the world okay cars. there were cars that were oh, it doesn't really go in your meanwhile finger. there was a oh meanwhile that's weird and there was a wait let me see yeah make sure not to get it on the oh it's not my hands aren't wet that's pretty cool no! oh i see it's just slime Oh. We're pretending it's toxic because, okay. like, right here. Yeah, see, it says silly oh. sludge. But look, that's it. That's oh, and that uh, stands for what? Death. Death toxic. I think that's a toxic symbol. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know it was just kind of here and there and everywhere. Um, Kyler is gonna be playing with his toys. I'm gonna go in there and package up that uh, flower in mylar bags with oxygen absorbers um, and put them in the storage room. I use a lot of all-purpose flour and I'm fixing to start making bread. I am going to be purchasing a bread maker very soon because I can whoop out some loaves of bread that way and I have a lot of flour. So thank y'all so much for joining me today and I know I'm looking that way. I don't mean to and as always we love you guys and we will see you on the next video. Bye!